I know that it's not official, um, right. but Dayton and George Brett essentially somewhat confirming it. Yeah. Um, you know, for you, like, you know, what you know, what's that emotion going to be like when you get a chance to kind of be out there and, and kind of be a part of this? Yeah, I, th- I still don't think it's sunk in yet, but uh, tomorrow's going to be a big day. You know, uh, hopefully we get that game in, but, you know, it's going to be uh, – very special. I've got some friends and family coming out, so it'll be a lot of fun. Um, you know, emotions-wise, is it, is it building up to that? I mean, you've waited a long time, obviously, for this moment. Oh, for sure. You know, I'm trying to stay calm. Couldn't sleep last night, but, <laughs> you know, I'm sure tonight will be the same. But, you know, I'm just knowing I've worked real hard to get here and just to get an opportunity to put a Royals jersey on is unbelievable. Um, the, the extra work, you know, they've talked about with you, you know, like third or trying to do, like, it, really anything this spring beyond that. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, for you, extra value, you feel like. Uh, have you added some to that? You think, oh, absolutely. You know, uh, whether it be an inning here or there, an emergency situation, uh-huh. just knowing that they know that I can do it, get the job done out there, is, uh, I think it's big. You know, just a little more confidence to have uh, actually got on the bench or whatever it may be, a pinch runner situation where Gore's got to come in for somebody and I got to, you know, fill in that spot late in the game or. You know, whatever it may be, it's just uh, doing whatever I can to help the team win, you know, keep going from there. Depending on usage, um, everyday bats, whether it comes or doesn't, like, can that be kind of a, you know, what kind of things can you do to stay fresh just in case? Uh, you know, watching a lot of video just so um, stay ready, stay locked in on the game, that's for sure. But, you know, just to getting as many swings in as I can in pregame, in the cage, uh, you know, tracking bullpen just to make sure. I'm ready for at any given moment. Who you got coming, friends and family-wise? So I got my wife and her family's coming, my parents, my sister, and then uh, five of my high school buddies that I played with growing up. So they said they wouldn't miss it for anything. That's awesome. I mean, are you going to get a chance to spend much time with them either tonight or, you know, after the game tomorrow? So they're coming in tomorrow, and then we have the off day Friday. So, you know, hang out, watch some basketball, and then uh, – you know, hopefully we get that game in tomorrow, but then if we have two Saturday, it'll be a long day for everybody, <laughs> and then they head out on Sunday. But, you know, it'll just be unbelievable to see them and uh, have them here with me for that. Your parents a big part of your baseball journey, I assume? Yeah, for sure. They uh, a lot of support, you know. They come down and watch me play in Dominican the last two years, and it all started with my dad, uh, you know, just pushing me all the you know, just be the best I can be and uh, just staying positive. It wasn't an easy road, but... You know, even just getting started. So he's he's texting me now and, you know, just get locked in, stuff like that. So, we heard, What was it like talking to your dad about your conversation with George Brett? I mean, one of the biggest icons in baseball history and, and your little story with him now. Uh, that was funny. <laughs> you know, uh, George is a great guy. We've had an opportunity to meet, meet with him a couple of times, you know, hung out in the George Brett suite a couple of years. But, uh, no, that was funny. That'll be a story I'll never forget, you know, him spilling the beans. So for you, you talk about the long journey and maybe conversations with your dad or whoever to tell you to hang in there. How hard was it to, to hang in there for us? You know, and, and, and I guess how much more does that make this special, considering that this wasn't easy for you to get here? Right, you know, I thought I could have had the opportunity a couple times. Um, but, you know, that's just part of the game. It's a business as well. Uh, but, you know, just hearing – that uh, what Ned had to say in the office the other day is just unbelievable. Called my dad right away, uh, called my wife, my mom, and uh, they were all pumped. So they got on the uh, flight booking right away. So, yeah, it's just an uh, unbelievable feeling. What, what did, what, what, enjoy it, what, what did, what did it. Ned say? Um, you know, Sometimes we give people hard times. So I yeah, he, uh, he's just like, you know, we got the exhibition game. Um, going to fly out to Omaha. Omaha's going to fly back to Arizona for a couple more games, and uh, he'll be on our flight to Kansas City. So, you know, it's, uh, I didn't believe him at first. thought he was just like, messing around, you know. But, uh, no, nah, he's like, I'm serious. Good work and everything, and just the beginning. I saw, saw some of the teammates, obviously, down in Arizona telling you congrats. And, yeah. Like, um, you know, you talk about family and all that stuff, but for, for like, teammates or guys you've played okay, with, so and heard, like, anybody, anybody, anything stand out to you as far as, like, how much, you know, what they had to say to you or, you know, um, anybody say anything in particular that stood out to you in that No, nah, they just, you know, they said well-deserved. And uh, I love playing with these guys. I mean, I played with these same guys for the last five years, you know, Dozier, O'Hearn, Cam, you know, they come to be uh, real good friends. And then just to be able to play with them, it's just, uh, you know, unbelievable. Win some ball games together, it's going to be a great feeling.